Okay, I'm standing here with Josh Grande, who was released from jail when? Wasn't released. Oh. Was not released from jail. He's one of our arrest. Oh no, you never went to jail. I never went to jail. Oh, I, I was excuse just me. I'm sorry. Say. Okay, one of one of the occupiers who was uh, injured by the LAPD, and he has a testimonial for us today. So. Tell us the story, Josh. What happened? When I was walking on the side of the steps, on the north side of the steps of City Hall, freely, riot patrol over in that garage right there came out 40 deep, and they're also going in the undergrounds. So I was I skipped past them. Underground meaning them. right underneath where we are like here. Under, yeah. Okay. To basically infiltrate the camp. Coming down here, I was walking, and there's three people in front of me. Well, three people in front of me were walking, and then one of the officers asked me to turn around. I thought they were talking to him. He was talking to them, and he told me to turn around again. Um, and I kept walking, and I pointed them to myself, saying, are you talking to me? And as soon as I let my, head, my hand down, they shot me, rolling around for 10 minutes. Shot you with? A rubber bullet. Okay. Instantly c c uh, knocking me down. I fell on my back immediately. There was a witness or actually technically three, three witnesses that actually saw what happened and two officers from over here walked over and deliberately for, and forcefully picked me up by my left hand that was shot and my right arm and moved, moved me within the camp. Four medics pulled me out of the camp because the police patrol said I can come out because of how much pain I was in and screaming but when I and they uh, escorted me to the ambulance that was waiting for me while I was walking to the ambulance. They tried driving off. The ambulance? The ambulance you? tried driving off, and I was walking up there holding my hand, and they saw it, and it basically kept on going. And one of the medics told, was screaming, "Hey, this is a guy that got shot. We are the ones that called you." They, they uh, waited 20 minutes sitting in the ambulance, and they finally took me because they were trying to get my vitals, and it had a low blood pressure. And they took me and they <clears throat> took me to Memorial Hospital. They took me on a gurney and took me inside. Well, one of the nurses told me, told him, turn me around and take me outside. I was wondering what was going on because I was in so much pain. And they said, Richard, you're going outside. They set me in some chairs, bought some vitals out. 15 minutes later, put me in, took me to go get my x-rays. Set me outside 30 minutes later, gave me my discharge papers and sent me on my way. They did not give me any medicine. They did not give me anything. They took. They said it was a sprain, but it's of completely overly swollen, beyond belief. This is what happened to me. Wow. Look and at I that. was freely walking Here, down the city hall. Let me hold that and put your other hand up to this hand so we can compare how swollen that is. Oh, whoa! How far away from you were they when they shot you? Forty-two feet away. That looks really painful, man. You have no idea. Every time I get crunched up, I have to manually move my hands out. Did they give you that sling? They gave no. I went to another, actual another hospital, to uh, to county hospital that was recommended by some of the occupiers to actually get a sling, and they treated me a lot better than Memorial Hospital. Mm -hmm. And you told them that you were shot by a rubber bullet by I was the LAPD? Shot, by, uh, shot by a rubber bullet in the LAPD, but there's no information on my paperwork, my medical report, saying I was shot by a bullet. It, instead, the chief com uh, complaint was lower abdominal pain. And I did not say anything about lower abdominal pain. I said I was shot. I'm holding my hand in their faces, and they're basically saying I, was lo I was, had lower abdominal pain. It has paperwork right here. Stating lower abdominal pain right here. Chief complaint. Abdominal pain. And on the second page, which And everything else is right on there? You, no, you no, there's many things mistaken on this paper. Because on the second page, it shows sprain. But why is on the first page, it shows lower abdominal pain? That's the messy thing, mm -hmm. and it just explains everything. And there's many, there's so much things on here that is like messed wrist, up. Wrist sprain. Okay. Mm -hmm. But on the first page, lower abdominal pain as yeah, a chief says, complaint. Right. Which is you had zero of that. You had zero no point, reported. No and no pain at all. Mm -hmm. So they mistreated me, and sent me on my way, as I was as I was leaving 
White Memorial Hospital, I came back to Occupy to support them. Mm -hmm. Well, let's walk through right now. Let's walk through. Let's retrace your steps from that night, if you don't mind. Are you up for it, or is it too emotionally? I'll do it. I mean, no. I mean, you don't have to. If it, I'll do it. I, mean, I saw your face when we walked I'll by here it. earlier, and I know that. I'll do it. This is traumatizing for you. There's a lot of people out here with PTSD, and I already had post-traumatic stress already. This just added up to it. Because every time I walk past this area, right over there, where I was shot, I jerk all the time and freak out. I almost busted down in tears earlier because I was walking past this. Because just remembering what happened mm -hmm. and feeling the pain and connection of the rubber bullet hitting my hand and me falling to the ground and being forcibly picked up by the cops. Wow. All right, let's take a walk here. The mayor is told that there was no violent acts. Right. That the, the riot was peaceful. Right. I heard his uh, his uh, statement to the press at 2 o'clock. I was there. I recorded it. The and, press uh, made a deal with the LAPD to cut off all lines and all cast, complaining to the people that were in the Occupy, the camp, uh -huh. children, everyone, women, women and male and children, and came in busting after they shot me, came in busting, and pushing everyone back and breaking up everyone, tying them mm -hmm. behind their hands, behind their back. Walking past here, skipping past here, back there, in that garage back there is when they came 40 deep. And also into the underground. Mm -hmm. Skipping past here and walking. This is when the three people were in front of me. Right here. walking just like this. And they told me to turn around. He was up there. I walked a little bit faster, and as I, when I got up there, he told me to turn around. I pointed to myself exactly at this moment, right here. Turn around and show me what you did. I pointed at myself like this, exactly like this, and stuff right here. As soon as I put my hand down, he shot me. So you were fa around. which way were you facing? I was facing this way. He right oh, he was in, he was on that side. Oh, he I see. He was right there, 42 feet away, because I counted it the next day. Were you? Which way were you walking? I was walking from. This oh, you way. were. You were walking towards the cop. I was walking towards the camp to support the. Occupation. Who was telling you to turn around? The cop was telling me to turn around. Like, uh, like to walk away. Basically, walk away. Oh, yeah. to turn around and walk away. Okay. And then after gotcha. he shot me, I fell down right here, squirming. Two cops came across the street and forced and basically told me get up. There's nothing wrong with you. Your hand isn't broken. Get up and grab me by my left hand and my right arm and picked me up and told me to keep walking within the camp. I was pushed by some of the policemen and then laid on the grass up there in sheer pain. I, I will admit, I was in tears. I'm not ashamed of it. I was crying. I don't care who makes fun of me. That shit hurts. Yeah, of course it does. There's no shame in that. You got shot by a rubber bullet. I mean, that's painful. I was treated mis mis very unfairly in Memorial Hospital. I was treated outside of the hospital. That's good. That's good. I was treated outside of the hospital, and I don't know why. People who were shot or mazed were treated outside. I was the only person at the time being there. I don't know who else went there. I have been talking to people who were shot and whatnot. I'm still looking for the person who was shot in the treehouse to see what his damages are as well. So he can sh uh, share his story as well. Yeah, I believe that that may be Chad, and he's here. I've been looking yeah, for Chad. Yeah, I'm. I'm um, I I actually already talked to him. We're going to interview him in a minute, so maybe we can go find him. Okay, thanks for sharing your story. Is there anything else we should know? The mayor lied. <laughs> Don't believe the mayor anymore. <sighs> okay. Cass. And there, you've been with the Occupy how long? I've been with the Occupy for a month and one day now. Okay. I came. I'm originally from Indiana, mm -hmm. and I came from Iowa straight out of jail for mm -hmm. something my ex-fiance caused me to be in and stole all my belongings. 
and came here. I was originally from Occupy Long Beach mm -hmm. and introduced to Occupy LA and both supporting Occupy Long Beach and LA. All right, thanks for supporting. Bring your other hand out again. Let's do one more like comparison of your right hand is your normal hand and your left hand is the hand that was shot with the rubber bullet and this would be the, where the rubber bullet hit you right there. And yeah, your hand is seriously swollen. Okay. Thank you very much for, for everything and for sharing your story with us, Josh. You're very welcome.